Well, hey, kiddos. Let's just get it started, shall we? This is pretty weird, isn't it? No, it's very important. It's very important. YouTube official business. Bidness. Hello. I'm in a very weird mood. As you can tell, that's what's up. That's what we're rocking with. So that's what a T is. Um, obviously, I'm wearing a unicorn uniform. <laughs> Just made that up. Just made that up right now. Unicorn uniform. Unicorn uniform. It's like my new 1984 secret message. Unicorn uniform. Let's get it popping, okay? Um, obviously, yes. And then this cap is most special to me. Belongs to my homie Midas, formerly known as Kitty Crimes. Please check them out. I'm going to link stuff. I mean, honestly, inspo in every way. Like, the baddest ass, ass badness that I have ever seen on the interwebs. And you know I don't dabble much, but I do dabble. I do my research when I talk trash about how I feel like the robots are taking over us. I also have to research that robot takeover, right? So I've seen some things, I've seen some things. And my girl Midas, the one and only Kitty Crimes with a K-I-T-T-Y Crimes. So dope, like lick it off every single one of your fingers. Dope, right? So known each other for six million years and she made me this hat. Painstaking. The hours on these tentacles alone. Just the tentacles. The the mystical octopusy third eye. The spangles. The rocket ship. Right? Right? I know there's like a spangle. Yeah, there's a spangle attachment as well. So you can have extra spangle. And it says, are you octopus enough? Are you? And I've been thinking about that a lot. And then of course, there is this... Oh, I remember this was from <laughs> I nannied for some kids and this was from their Bible school he says something religious belief he's an octopus who believes so could that be any cooler it was like every all the Bible schools had themes and this one was under the sea <laughs> um yeah local plug need water totally 80s pizza Best pizza I've ever had. Corey Feldman did a commercial for them. True story. Um, underneath is this squirrel. So we have fuck your fascist beauty standards, which actually this pin came from one of my life's only real true enemies. This girl took my first love's virginity on purpose and then told me like 11 years later, she did it to crush me. How crazy is that? Like, Girl, I was I didn't I did that just to crush you. Isn't that juicy? <laughs> That's so juicy. Anyway, life is crazy. But sometimes you gotta sport that shit. Like I thought she was the coolest person in the world for a while. So when she gave me that I was really honored. But it still applies today. It's very relevant. We need to stop with this shit. With the norm being like six thousand dollars worth of God knows what injected into your mouth and you're this and you're Oh, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Anyway, I'm just, I'm tangenting. I'm tangential this evening, and it's fine. This is a baby bottle. Remember those necklaces? Part of what I have to spout off about includes this, the stealing of this. This is the authentic shit. You can taste the 90s in it. Do you know what I mean? The rest is a knockoff. <laughs> this one says, I dress this way to bother you. And this was like my favorite. This had to be my favorite pin back in the day that's like that's just what it is you know that's what it is and then this comes from my favorite garage sale of the year every year when they put that shit out it's on i have nicknames for these two <laughs> like they always this was this was free i got all of these biggie smalls sweaters sweatshirts like with his face on them for a dollar and other really great treasures probably some of the best treasures in my life come from this yearly garage sale how it is when you're real when you're real that's what you do um do enjoy this though keeps you warm on those cold nights i brought shabert day back for a special appearance you'll see 
her cameo in a very real way. I'm attempting to kind of uh, walk and talk and chew gum and rub my tummy and pat my head type deal in this one. So it may be hilarious and I may fuck it up because I'm trying to kind of do a thing. <laughs> but that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, I have to give another PSA, another, this is the tangent, but here's also how I feel. Cause I'm kind of making fun of makeup tutorials here and I am kind of making fun of TikTok. And like I said, I like to be proven wrong. If y'all want to prove me wrong, I'll give you a hundred dollars. If you sell me on TikTok, if you get me to do that shit. Cause here's my little spiel. I'm only going to do it this once. <clears throat> and my boyfriend says, I get a little aggressive when I talk about TikTok and it's true. <laughs> It's true. I do. Because it's the thing right now. Like, if you're going to be famous and you're going to be a star, you best get that 30 seconds in there 50 times a day, every day. And I just have some strong feelings about it. I read an article and when I, when I spout on information, I like to read about it from at least a few different sources a few different times to get my like, okay, now I'm about to spout about this. <laughs> and I read several articles about how they were paying people to remove content of ugly, poor, and disabled people from their platform, removing these people. How was that not more of a stir in this culture where everyone's like, we're all real mad about something. I just don't know how that didn't make waves. And I read it in a couple places that it was like, hey, yeah, they're just out there combing through the footage, making sure we get rid of the ugly people. What? That's crazy. Um, it just made me feel crazy. It made me feel in the matrix in a bad way in this web of destruction. And then I read a lot about how Perez Hilton got kicked off TikTok <laughs> just because he said, okay, A, these young TikTokers should not have been partying during lockdown. Okay. I read this multiple times. B, listen to whatever, blah, blah. Just, just so I could spout about it and be mad about it. B, how these young 14 year old so-and-so's like sisters who are famous on whatever for what they do which is nothing <laughs> and three just like people in general should not be partying and being dicks during a lockdown and they called it bullying and all these defendants of the young girls in so what he said is that these young girls shouldn't be in their bikinis bouncing because they're 14 and that's all he said like just hey maybe <laughs> Maybe don't do that. And all of their fans came to their defense and made them call it bullying and he got kicked off. And I don't know the whole story. Maybe there's more to it. I don't care. Most of it just seems that way though. Like if you're gonna suddenly break fame down into this like 30 seconds to a minute thing, everything's just gonna intensify. And it's like everybody's so fucking cool and fucking famous and my all our phones are like spy algorithms. <laughs> and I read the the creator of reddit said that tiktok was the most malicious spyware he had ever seen that scares me too like what are we talking about here why is everybody down for this and i'm freaked out and i'm thinking like wow this just doesn't work for me this doesn't work for me on like a soul level and i've been like i was into myspace for a while you know i said that because it felt kind of real to me it was like my background of like my choosing and these images and i could have music playing and it felt more like a canvas right does that make any sense to anyone out there just felt like a canvas but I have to integrate, I have to integrate my thoughts and feelings here. When I'm making fun of this shit, I know there's brilliance out there. I have friends who do makeup tutorials that I literally think is the level of magic. Like they are magical. And I see that out there. These women who can transform themselves into look like whatever, Captain America, or I don't even know the craziest things. A gremlin just, yeah. RuPaul's drag show anything in like I love ma makeup I'm a theater nerd obviously I've been hired to like I love this stuff and this is my makeup box and it naturally says things for a pretty face I just love that it's from the 60s and yeah I just want to say like I try to integrate into a lot of my rants and tangents it's not all one thing. I really admire the work of people out there who can transform themselves. Like, that's beauty, dog. But these, like, rich girls who are already rich and don't need a damn thing from us and are like, let me show you how to make my how I make myself perfect on a daily basis. This is Monday. This is Tuesday. Here's me on a wimps. Here's me buying a Birkin bag. Like, why do we need that? Why do we need that? Why do we crutch on that? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't like it. 
Um, anyway, that's just my, that's my role, y'all. And I've, I, I kind of touched on this, like, funny story a little bit once, but I don't know. I said it once before and it bears repeating now. I fell in love with a girl. No, I won't. I won't do the whole. But I did say it before. Bears repeating. I went off in a like funny auntie. We're being funny about it kind of way. And they probably didn't need my speech because I'm sure it sucks to work at Forever 21. Like bitches being like wreaking havoc. Wreaking havoc on these tank tops. Just strewn. Just strewn about. The clothing is always just like. Should be flying, should be flying. You gotta catch it in the air, you know? And then also like bitches be like, the seam is ripped. These legs aren't even like, yeah, girl, it's made in a factory with very, very, very poor working conditions. Like, hello. But I kind of did my little comedy routine because the, the youngsters are stealing the 90s from us, guys. And, and every phone is an algorithm and a spy. And it's telling me lately like, uh, millennials, your skinny jeans are canceled. I'm like, when did children become the authority on cool? Like, ugh. anyway, I, I digress. It, the point is, they're trying to steal it from us and make it relevant again. It's like, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air wasn't yours, dog. And I went up there and was like, do you even know Rocco's Modern Life? Did you see the evolution of Daria Morgendorfer? Do you remember Cher when she first walked on the scene? Like, did you see Kurt Cobain become Kurt Cobain? Ren and Stimpy, were they your homies for real? Like, there for you? No. And now we're just regurgitating it. And I'm so sorry, I know she's a goddess of the internet. I agree. Stranger Things, even Stranger Things stole the 80s from us. And, like, that's kind of ours, too. And can we get a new thing? Like, can we get a thing where we... And believe me, I had Stranger Things parties. I made the wall with the letters and the Christmas tree. I did the whole thing. I get it. I get it. But, like, it just doesn't seem like we have a new now thing that we can all integrate on and be like, this is okay. We're all humans. It's all this, like... You're not cool anymore. This is how a boomer texts. Like, fuck that content. I'm just not into it. It's like, that shit was mine. You are stealing Nickelodeon for me and pretending that you know what this crop top is about. Like, I was there at the mall, bitch. <laughs> it's kind of how I felt about it. Like, it made me mad. It was literally every single thing from my youth. My youths. The youth movement and it just it upsets me and so anyway now they're author they're the authority they're the authority on what's cool i'm a little high too it's fine we're all good we're all gonna get there some people on the internet are brilliant i watch these dance videos people just dancing from their soul all day dance please keep dancing everybody dance and i get why tiktok is yummy <laughs> but it to me it's just Entertainment is suddenly these morsels and people actually can't pay attention for more than 10 minutes. That's why my family's trying to be like, do you got to speed it up? You got to do these. And I see what y'all want. I do my homework on the YouTubes. I see what y'all like. You like these fast clips and people's heads turn big and crazy shit happens and letters come across the screen. It's like, I'm just trying to bring you me. You know, I'm just trying to be a real fucking person out here. And I feel real lonely and real scared. And every time the internet shows me a fucking actual article written by a person who got paid to write that article, that's like, TikTokers say, skinny jeans are out. Your side hair part. They tried to come for my side hair part. I have a cowlick right here. This is how my hair goes. TikTokers try to say the side hair part is out. What are you talking about? Stop coming for me. I saw mtv like vjs come out of the vj womb like you don't know stop it stop telling me what's cool i was there in the last relevant decade <laughs> i just feel like everything is roboticized and all these bitches have the same face like to a scary degree it really scares me and i don't like it i don't like how you are lucky if you escape high school now without body dysmorphia. And I had it. And at that time, nobody was talking about it or like knew what it was or was, you know, talking about anything, nothing, sexuality, gender fluidity, feelings, <laughs> like nobody was talking about anything, but there was all of this angst. And so that's why the art was so good, right? Come on. Okay. So that's all I want to say is just, I'm scared of it all. And 
yes, I've been an actor my whole entire life. I've been trying to bring it to you, bring it to you, bring it to you, bring it to you, give it to you. But it's just scary out there. I mean, everybody and their aunt and their grandma be famous on TikTok like, we're all doing the same dance. And we do it again. And then we cut to another dance. And it's like, boom, you're famous. Or people just lip sync other people's words. That's a thing that people are all fame dog for now. Just I just mouth the words to someone else's words. And boom, I got a Netflix show and everything. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't get it. I'm, I'm scared to jump into whatever this is. I used to live in Hollywood and go on auditions and get my soul's dick kicked in for just being a person, for just having the color hair I had, for looking like what I looked like. All this like complex rejection. <laughs> so um, I just have a unique perspective, that's all. And I see that you can go on any like corner of the internet and find some person who is mind-blowingly beautiful, talented, real, doing it. I know that's out there. But, like, I just feel like the other side, the kind of, like, socialite, their parents are already famous. They're going to gobble up everything, the 1%. Like, it's all, it's a game. They all know each other and they link elbows at a big party. And I don't know. It makes me sad. It makes me sad that we can't, more of us little guys can't just, like, kind of jump in. Um, but, yeah, that's just what I see when I look around me. I try not to, because even, and this is, here's, uh, Final rant before I show you some weird artsiness. Um, like I started an Instagram for my best friend's dog because I believe in him. If you want to check it out, I'll link it. It's at Hammy Famstagram. H-A-M-M-Y-F-A-M-S-T-A-G-R-A-M. Hammy Famstagram. And I'm real proud of it. Like, you know, but even then I got all angry, like, there's these other chihuahuas with their tongues out and they're not as cute as ham and they're just crushing it. What do I have to do? And I got all obsessed and I told myself I wouldn't, that it wasn't about that ego or whatever. Or like, and I, and I do, I, there's people that really care about Hammy and they want him to post, but I can't physically click onto that shit without going down a horrible black hole spiral of self-comparison and loathing and um why don't I have this and oh shit I better Botox my forehead maybe I don't know <laughs> and I just go into this <sighs> like choking on life and I I can't I, you know and, I, and of course you find cool pockets you find people but even then you're like well why can't I be you and why can't I be that and what do I have to do <laughs> and it's like it's an obsession and it spirals and it <sighs> And now everybody's in it, aren't we, Shabirthday? Everybody's doing it. Even me and you, aren't we in it? We're still in it, I know. But I'm gonna bring it to you anyway. <laughs> um, so that's cool. I just, I like to love people and I'm always looking to love people, but people are making it harder and harder and harder and harder these days to love them. Do you know what I mean? I hope you do. So this one's really weird just gonna come right out and say it it's weird it's a weird one. Oh, that's a that's a pretty cool angle um yeah I wrote it in the shower yesterday and today part of today and I'm trying not to take it too seriously it's just we have to not be so mean to each other and to ourselves that's kind of my biggest point and I feel like all that kind of super hypey popularity contest. Oh, that's the other one thing I wanted to say is that I read a Vice article and I trust Vice with my life. Like if Vice was Aladdin and Vice was like, do you trust me? I'd be like, fuck yes, I do. And they made an article about the TikTok mansion that scared me so bad, this unlimited budget, never ending budget. For what? For just like this vanity. I feel like it's a crutch and I feel like it's... <sighs> not what we need. We need more gar gardens, gardens, guardians, and guards down and like love. That's what we need. Realness. People, are you with me at all? It's okay if you're not. I'm not everybody's bowl of pot, you know. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. I'm going to give it to you, give it to you, give it to you. And I'm going to be weird 
Is that cool? Is that okay with you? Okay, I'm ready. We got this, it's your birthday. We got this. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. This one's called TikTok Robots. And it's like, oh, gee, well, you would think that I'd be on the brink by now. Who do you kowtow to? Or who you gonna bow down to? Or are you just gonna bow out, bow out, bow out, bow out? Well, that's not much to shout about. Now is it when you're gonna come pay me a visit? What do you think? You're some kind of wizard? Watch out for the blizzard, I call my heart. Darling, we're gonna start with streaking. Yeah, we're talking about all day streaking. Then we're gonna be freaking, freak dancing in the streets, you and me. We're gonna decorate, we're gonna meet in the woods with flowers. And we're gonna decorate that sucker good. We're gonna make every day a party. Don't you wanna get it started? Ooh, I do, I do. I already bought the smoke machine in my blue suede shoes. <gasps> blue suede shoes. I'm just trying like hell to break through to you. You who, you who, you who, you who. Are you in there? You want to come out, you want to stare. Because everybody's stripped down to who they really are. Say so you want to be a bright star. Well then stop being like everybody else. They'll put your soul straight into a shell that's dark. After they strip away your true given spark. So twist it back in it's just like a ball of you dim witted fool all you need to do is turn away and decide right here and now that you're the one who's too cool for them anyhow well fuck anyway let's spit it out how we really feel Let's play each other records all night. Is it a deal? Let's get in a big fucking fight. Just for the fuck of it, fuck of it. Tuck it in, tuck me in, and sing me a beautiful song. For the remainder of however long this kiss is. I just want to whisk you away to a place where we can play like kids forever and evermore and evermore on a never-ending seashore. I'd adore if you met me there with a folding chair and that big floppy hat I like. We'll treat each other real, real nice. And we'll just take the keys and pay the price for leaving reality. We don't want her no more. Just want to be dancing, dancing free, dancing, dancing to be alive. Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and try? Let's lay down all our whys and hows and anyways. Just get playing, just get on the fucking stage. Just put your titty tassels on, titty tassels on, titty tassels on. Just put your titty tassels on and sing along. Just go with it, just move your hips, just do this. We could prove it. We could have a velvet couch and everything 
and everything. Let me hear you sing, we can have anything. We put our fairy minds to, we got a whole lot to prove in not much time. So let's bust out the turpentine and scrub all the bad stuff off. We just want to blast off to the good spot, to the jive place, where every fucking body got a smile on their face and they're all making their heels click. I just want this message to stick. We gotta stick it out long enough to get the party, to get to the party, to get to the contagious bout of happiness and that it can be utter bliss. Let's light up the twinkle lights. Kick this shit off right, it's where the real ones wanna be. Where everybody's sipping tea, sipping tea, sipping tea. Always saying please and hugging tight and kissing goodnight like they mean it. <gasps> Let's encircle ourselves with brilliant artists who still dream it. Enough to make it real, we can feel all the feels and eat every single kind of cake. I just want to wake up one day and feel like nothing is fake, like nobody's trying to take anything from me. Like there's some kind of grand and lovely plan. I don't want an Instagram. Oh, TikTok can damn well ram its own ass into the ground. I don't want to hear a sound of it. It's like the muse just took a shit. And here this new way is. Good luck, you two cool fucking kids. Why don't you just rid yourself of your hearts and your true bits? Your two bits, your clicks and hits. Addicts, you jostle me with static of my spinal cord. Inflate your tits and tell them they can't afford you. Run run you through with a sword to get ahead of you get two more two more followers than you got hey ain't i hot and i got what these picky twats all want i'm mrs right here on the spot be whatever you want me to be I'll eat whatever you want me to eat, even if it poisons me. I'll smile pretty until you sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out. You sell out of every single tube of the stuff. <laughs> every single tube of the stuff. I'll fucking puff it in a pipe if you want me to. Yeah, I'll do it just for you and your bag of money too. <laughs> and your bag of money here too. Yeah, I'll do it just for you. But you better run it, honey, or they'll make glue of you in their factory and write that you did a less than satisfactory job of fitting in. Oh, they're putting it on your permanent record and you'll never get a win, get a win, get a win, get one win. You'll have to rescind all your invitations and slap that grin right off your face. <laughs> Ain't got no time to waste space. Now, <laughs> turn your head and cough in your mask. Oh yes, at last we get to the now part where everybody parts ways and gets swayed by the robots, 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 robots.
Erase your thoughts, erase everything that makes your heart sing, that makes you, you. What else you gonna do? Become a fucking YouTube star. Little Missy, that's pretty risky. Come on now, who the fuck you even think you are? You pedal in your art. Oh, well, bless your heart. Five out of five, five out of five, five out of five stars. More scars, more battle wounds. Tune in again, that was 47. Just wait till you get your ears on 48. It'll be fucking great, fucking great, fucking great, fucking great. Beauty products available by the boatloads made of crazy shit you don't even know what it is and they'll never tell you but you can use an, a dinosaur to apply your eyeliner trust me I've tried it many times at the factory of makeup where I work oh yes yeah, see it it really develops a very straight line <laughs> you get the point I love y'all. I'm glad you came with me on this very weird self-expressive voyage. And I just want to say again, you know, oh, I forgot to do my tuning. Do I have to sing the whole song again? God damn. I hate when I forget funny parts. I was going to do, excuse me. I gotta, gotta tune myself first. <clears throat> Mariah Carey right here. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's just, Everything can go a lot of different ways, you guys. I just, I, I, I don't want to be told what's cool anymore, and I don't want to read the article of some person getting paid to tell me what's cool. It scares me. It bothers me. We should all be ourselves. And we put that on, like, signs you can buy at Hobby Lobby, at the Hobbs Lobs, but we don't, like, do it. You know what I mean? I mean, we just don't do it. <laughs> Be yourself, be yourself, be yourself, be yourself. Better be yourself. First step. Be yourself. And then people just allow someone else to take over that. And this is Santa Claus and a bear. And again, Lisa Frank. This doesn't belong to the Chitlins. And they can they can have it, they can use it, they can appreciate how flippin' cool it is, you know? Just like I can appreciate that they can all dance better than me because, you know, I let a lot of my life go by being swindled by assholes who I thought had power to get me into movies. <laughs> you know, like, it's it happens. It happens to the best of us. And I admire that you can shake it, you know, and take those chances a little bit more, but you don't gotta t go telling people what is and isn't cool. Like, that's just rude. That's just rude. We can all do our own version of that, and it's okay. <laughs> you can, you know, you can apply glitter with troll hair and feel unapologetic about that because, because it's okay to do. And, I don't know, this is a teddy bear witch. I mean, just do that. Just don't give in. I feel all these people getting <sniffs> telling you, you got to see the movie They Live. If you haven't seen it yet, you must participate in this film and figure it out. <laughs> um, this does feel nice though. I will endorse the out of these because I could just have, I could have 20 different, you know, friends just do me, do me this on my neck and my back and you know the song. You know how the song goes. Um, yeah, I will endorse those actually uh, wholeheartedly, in fact. And there was a part, oh my God, I'm just mad at myself. It really is hard to walk and chew bubble gum, guys. Of course it is. Obviously you just saw that, but I really wanted to um, attach these stars with the Vaseline because that is actually like, I'm going to be dead serious. I'm going to give you an actual... Beauty tip. Vaseline works very good if you're trying to put theatrical applications upon your face. You're probably going to want to go and buy yourself a vat 
of Vaseline. <laughs> and that's real advice for me to you. A friend of mine who was an exotic dancer, who's one of the more beautiful women I've ever seen, just like, beautiful, whoa, redheaded. But she um, gave me these and I'm gonna put them in my top three most important categories. So see, again, look at me endorsing. It's cool, it's fine. We Yes, makeup has its place. But there's too much, it's a bit much, and it always has been. And it pisses me off that women have a product for literally like, there's a product to shape your eyebrow, tweeze your eyebrow, sculpt your eyebrow, wax your eyebrow, just the eyebrows, you can spend like $100. And then we just go down and they're gonna like, they're gonna target your nipples, they're gonna target your elbows. Ladies, they're gonna make you pay a product that's for your pinky versus your thumb, like it's fucked up. And it's too much, <laughs> we need to scale it back just a little bit. But these are top three possessions. They're these fancy do brushes. I dare not ever really use them. I just like to rub them together. And if it had an ASMR sound, it would be like. It's just so good, you guys. Like, honestly, when I'm going to do a performance or a play, or sometimes even before these poems, this is my, this is my meditation technique. This very thing, this Ooh, it's just, it's two perfect parallel orbiting universes in a fluffy, velvety Victorian couch mixed with feathers, mixed with magic. I don't know what it is. They're the spoons of the goddesses. And yeah, it's just a really very pleasant experience. So whatever you call these, whatever you do with them, how they come in the world of the interweb, find some, rub them together, feel better by the second I'm telling ya wouldn't lie to you about said things and i hope i got like a, a good shot of this because i was making fun of like just everything is a beauty product right so this guy holds this spoon in our cabinet because it's very just seems ceremonial you know and i'm not gonna lie that also does i mean it feels good but you know i wouldn't let goop sell it to you or anything <laughs> this came from a garage sale as well um but you know, yeah, I just had to, I just had to vent a little bit. I think that there's, there's all kinds of good and evil oil and evil oil. I was, let's change it to that. I was going to say turmoil and evil at the same time. So that's now a word. Um, but you know, there's just, there's a lot of dandy, lovely, wonderful things to enjoy. And then there's also like bombs that get deployed and really terrible haphazard horrible human things that occur and I just personally have always thought that we need to remember our child selves and stop trying to be these amalgamations of what corporations have told us to be and just like choose to be something that we choose that's just my theory. It's just a theory. And it's fine. Like, express yourself in any way. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to totally bad mouth. Bad mouth. That's, um, bad mouth and another word. I don't even know. Mixed together. Um, but yeah. I'm not going to bad mouth the whole broad sweeping things. Like, there's beauty and there's dancing happening and I believe in it. But, like, the shame or the, like, I'm better than you always kind of just tends to reside right under the surface like that where this guy finds his nuts right under the surface and just that comparison city the, the, the uncontrollable desire to compare oneself to others banana banana chapstick in a squishy banana always make sure too that you have that I mean it's, it's pretty important and it needs to smell like bananas or else it's fake a fraud um so yeah i feel like my work here is kind of done i just i hope i didn't um you know i feel like people are gonna get mad at me i broke my glow in the dark um broke my glow in the dark lipstick that i've had for hmm, 13 years yes i know what they say about makeup but i did that for my passion and i'm not ever trying to be mean but i do think there's a lot of like weird things that humans throw money and time at like we want to feel bad about ourselves after being therapy being in the therapies for a while I just kind of think that's sort of, sort of what it boils down to is it seems like people want to feel bad 
I don't know what that is. And be like, I'm not as pretty as them. My lips don't look like that. I don't have that many friends. I don't, my hair isn't like that. I'm gonna buy some. It's very obsessive. You just need to allow more love to come charging in. Like this is love and it's charging your battlefield. We need more of it. Um, so I don't know, Lisa Frank stickers, more of that. Just be kind to millennials. We're starting to feel older than we once did. You don't have to be mean. You're taking all of our 90s memorabilia. You know, you took Saved by the Bell. Like, <laughs> this kind of thing, the like, candy culture. Like, yeah, we did that. We did that. <laughs> the crop. Anyway, I just, I got love for them too. I'm, f I, I'm here for it. I'm here to just make it okay to be okay with yourself too though. Because we can't ever reach what they're trying to tell us in a commercial is the us that we should be by now. That's hogwash. Wash it right on down the sink, y'all. Um, cause life moves quick in a blink, y'all. It really do. I don't know how to prove it to you. Other than just bring my poetry your way. Um, thanks for sipping. This made me choke too and I was laughing at myself because I was trying to get it all out for you. But anyway, I just made that up and it's, it's there for you in your ears if you want it. Um, day 40, what I say? 48. 48. It'll be fucking great. Fucking great. Yeah. Um, so it's just some raw beauty. Some true glam. Wham bam. You're welcome. Love. Love and hugs. Do more. Just make it kind. Okay?